Good morning, happy Saturday. It's a very nice morning after all the rain yesterday, it's very refreshing. The sun's coming back out. It's gonna be a nice week, I think, weather wise. Um, so, to start the week, I need to go and buy things to put in a sandwich because we have our second and final NCT class today, and you have to bring your own pack lunch. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, very confusing weather today. It's just been absolutely tipping it down. Now it's beautiful, so I'm going for a little walk. I'm strolling down to Richmond where Crystal's doing her baby yoga. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go meet up with the family for some lunch. Yesterday was good. It was the last or second NCT class. Um, all day class from 10 until 4.30. Useful. On balance, overall useful. Yeah, that's what I'll say. I mean, yeah, there's always things you do know and there's things you don't and there's things you take away and there's things you think, well, that's, I knew that already or that doesn't seem <laughs> massively useful. But, you know, I think... I've heard horror stories of people's NCT classes of being just really useless and sort of just sort of earth mothery, wishy washy nonsense. Um, and it wasn't that at all. It was, it was overall quite practical, quite useful. So, yeah, that was good. And then we met up with a few of the couples afterwards. We went into Chiswick for some dinner, had a really, really good pho. And, um, yeah, and then met up with a few of them, and there's some, a nice bunch, and that's good. Because I'm sure we'll be seeing, the, um, you know, a fair number of them quite often over the next few months and possibly years. Um, and it's weird making friends at this point in your life, but it's very nice. <laughs> we were trying to work out which is the couple we don't think we'll see again. Because, you know, in any group, there's always one that's a bit distant maybe so we've got our bets in we'll see if we were right i hope we weren't hope we see everyone again anyway i'm gonna make the most of this weather i'll see you later can i also add one thing i've noticed uh, about myself which is for as long as i can remember one of my absolute pet hates has been when you have sort of working days, working group days where, you know, there's 10 people or so in a class and you've got a special project to do. And it happens all the way through your adult life. And they divide you into groups and you go away and you have an exercise that invariably involves a flip chart and some pens. And then you have to come back and present it to the rest of the group. You probably know what I'm talking about. Um, that has been the least enjoyable thing I've experienced as an adult. <laughs> I hate it. Because invariably what happens is we have a good discussion and that's quite useful. And then the group presentation bit always ends up in a being like, oh no, you do it. Oh no, you do it. Oh no, you do it. Because even when they're people you know quite well, no one wants to stand up and present their findings in front of a group. And for the longest time, I have been so, like, annoyed <laughs> by the fact that invariably that person, more than 50% of the time would end up being me, who had to go and present it. And you know what? I'm over it. Age 39 and a half, I'm over it. I don't care. I'll do it. I don't mind. Whatever. I think it's because I've really genuinely stopped caring what anyone else thinks, <laughs> which is a true sign of middle age. Um, but yeah, I don't mind. I, I'll, I don't mind about the exercises or the flip charts or the pens or the presentation anymore. It's all just fine. I wouldn't say I relish it, but whatever. I've just let it go. And if that comment seems massively out of context, it's not because you had to do it in NCT as well, but I've done it loads at meetings with RHP and previous employers. And it's always the thing that used to make the hairs in the back of my neck stand on end like, oh, God, I hate this. Genuine phobia. No more, I'm cured. The 
bit of chili and some giant mushrooms. That's basically what I've been looking at as I've done a lap of the gardens this afternoon. Happy Monday. I've been indoors most of the day because the weather has been tropical again. Sun rain, sun rain. This is the first extended sun period. So I thought I'd come out, have a stroll. But now it's time to go back and do a bit more work because it's gone five o'clock and I need to finish a podcast. Hello, good morning just by about 30 seconds. Here we are in Richmond Park. I'm coming to do some drone practice. So I've decided that I was going to drive up here because, broadly speaking, I haven't really driven with any great alacrity or frequency for... Now I'm going to ballpark this because I can't be precise. About... 20 years <laughs> and I know what you're thinking but you're probably thinking what the actual F which is a reasonable response um, I haven't needed to it's the long and the short of it um, I don't drive because I don't need to drive um, it's never had any impact on me negatively but we're getting to a point in about seven weeks time when I'm going to need to drive to Kingston Hospital. So I figured now was a good time to kind of start driving around these streets and see how it is. Now I've driven around lots of car parks in the past past few weeks since we got the car but I haven't actually taken it on the road so I thought you know I'll drive up to Richmond Park. It's not very far. It's kind of on the way to Kingston Hospital and when I'm done here I'm probably gonna do a lap of the park because um, if our journey is in daylight hours, come October the something, uh, then it will be through the park, but um, it's at night, it'll be round through Ham and whatnot. But um, so it's a nice day for it, it needed to happen, it has happened, obviously I have to drive back, <laughs> small things, but um, it's just getting used to a vehicle really, like my um, hand-eye coordination is really good, but my foot-eye coordination is not because it hasn't been trained. So this is me doing a bit of training. It is a very dear day up this end, which is unusual. I don't see many young. This might just be all the adolescents have been kicked out. They're worryingly tame, but you shouldn't get too close.
bit of fun. I've tried changing the controls a bit on the drone and I was trying to see whether that was more or less intuitive. I'm not sure it is one or the other, which is unhelpful. But anyway, it gets me flying hours up, so that's something. Meanwhile, deer, who are fascinated by people, which is why you shouldn't approach them. One of many reasons, not least, when they've got young, they'll be quite aggressive, and most of the males have got antlers. They can attack you. They do kill dogs. And they are wild animals. They are not pets. People seem to forget that. This is not a petting zoo. So be careful when you are around deer. Use a bit of common sense. Think how you'd behave if they were, say, a wolf. Would you behave differently? Then you probably should. I suppose it's worth noting for historical reasons that I did make it back perfectly fine, as you might imagine. Um, and it was it was interesting to have a little drive around. It's like it uses a you know muscles and parts of my brain that other things don't use. So it still takes a bit of sort of relearning, I suppose. Um, that was mostly small roads and what have you and low speeds, but it's a good start. So I mentioned that I obviously haven't driven for a long time. Um, I did about 11 and a quarter miles today, I think. I worked it out on a map, just out of curiosity. And that means that this millennium, I've driven a total of 11 and a half miles <laughs> in the last 19 years. So that's pretty impressive, I think you'll agree. I think I took my test when I was 18. When I turned 17, I wasn't very eager to learn how to drive. And I eventually did lessons, um, sort of when I was sort of approaching 18 and uh, passed my test just after. And uh, drove a bit for the first year or so. I didn't have a car, borrowed my mom's, drove around a bit. But again, I didn't need to then. Um, so didn't do a lot and then I went to uni and didn't need a car there and didn't drive a car again <laughs> that's that's broadly what happened and that was 98 um, so yeah I think I drove for about six months with a full license and I've never missed it I've never craved it there has been only recently times where it would have been useful. Um, but on the whole, it hasn't been something that I've needed whatsoever. And you might think that's odd. And, and, and if we lived somewhere very, very rural, it would be. But living in London, I mean, there just isn't a need. Uh, on the whole, public transport's excellent. I don't know that I'd want to drive through central London anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, it turns out you don't really forget, so that's good. And you know, years of Grand Theft Auto and racing games has clearly paid off. You might remember I filmed this dragon with different paint on it about two months ago. It's an experiment to see how the old paint would have worked when the first dragons were installed. And you might be able to make out from this that it's cracking quite badly, um, so it is not loving our mixture of hot and wet weather um, and I imagine that if that carries on they're gonna have to take it off or maybe they're just gonna let it go and see how bad it gets um, but yeah that is not how it should be it should be shiny like him as has become my habit this week it's five o'clock and I'm finally going out properly I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk I'm going to go and play with my gimbal a bit just to decide whether I want to take it to the States or not. And then I'm going to come back and do some more work on this motion tracking video that I've been working on. I think, well, there's always pros and cons depending on which system you use. I'm using Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. And it's all right. Like, it's simple to use, but the bigger problem 
is that it's not super accurate and there's a lot of manual fiddling, which is why it's five o'clock and I've only just got out. Happy Friday. I am deep in Sheen suburbia, which on a beautiful summer's day like today is really lovely. And I've already taken the wrong turn. So this is going well. Let's go this way. <laughs> I literally looked at a map a hundred meters ago and I suddenly recognized where I was and realized I'm going around in circles. Anyway, look, that doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is it's a beautiful summer's day. It's a Friday and I have finished the projects I was working on. Um, they are cyclical. So <laughs> the problem with that means that I could just start the next one. <laughs> And I probably will this evening, but um, I'm where I wanted it to be. I'm up to date, so I'm happy with that. And um, to reward myself, I'm going back to Richmond Park, but I'm walking this time, just so I can get out and about. And you know, it's only three instead of being five o'clock, so that's an improvement. These are some of the biggest and most expensive houses in the borough of Richmond. So I haven't shown them to you before, but this car is an abomination. That car actually usually is not parked up in the posh part of town. It's usually parked down in the lowlands um, near the uh, rugby pitches. Anyway, the point is, it's a lovely day and I'm going to go and fly a drone. But before we get there, um, we should do a word of the week. And because uh, this week is the first week that I have gone for a drive in 20 years, let's do the word of the week as the verb to drive to drive is the word of the week so first of all in german the verb to drive is fahren fahren that is the verb to drive in german and if you would say i drive or i am driving you'd say ich fahre ich fahre and in italian the verb to drive is guidare guidare and if you wanted to say, I drive, or I am driving, you'd say, Guido. Guido. Uh, in Italian, you don't usually need to use the pronoun for um, singular uh, verbs. So you don't need the io in front, it'd just be Guido. So there we go. Uh, that was drive, the verb to drive in German and Italian. And that was this week's word of the week. signal and said it was returning to home but decided to wander off somewhere else and by the time I managed to find out where it was it was about 500 meters away which is just on the edge of the range to be honest and I managed to hit cancel and bring it back so other than that 
it was a lovely day so thanks for watching um hope you subscribe and notify yourself with a little bell and whatnot and um i'll leave you with some more drone shots and i'll see you next week